Is it possible that we've been completely wrong about a commonly held belief in the home distilling world? In home distilling circles, if you ask, why do we throw out the four shots? It is very likely that someone is going to tell you the reason we throw out the four shots is to get rid of the very deadly methanol. But it turns out, at least for most of us, that that just isn't the case. This all started when I was surfing YouTube, and as YouTube does, they recommended a video to me, and it was by Still Behind the Bench. Now, if you haven't checked out Still Behind the Bench channel, do it. It is worth it, I promise you. But anyway, they recommended a video titled Methanol, Part 1. And I thought, well, I'm in the mood to learn something new about methanol, so let me watch this, and I did. And there were a number of things he said in that video that quite honestly surprised me, and even one that shocked me. Today I'm going to share with you what I found so surprising. And be sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you my takeaway from this very surprising information. So number one was pure sugar washes contain no methanol. This is because methanol is produced by pectin, and pectin is in all fruits and vegetables. And here's a ranking of the amount of pectin found in these. Fruit has the most pectin, then it's veggies, then grain, which by the way, apparently has very few pectins. Table sugar has no pectins. So what this means is, if you're using sugar washes to produce, say, a... Uh, a high gravity neutral spirit you don't even have to worry about four shots you don't even have to worry about methanol number two there isn't enough methanol produced by distillation to harm a human okay well that surprised me now you can find reports online about methanol poisoning taking places in different parts of the world caused by moonshine and this is where the idea that moonshine causes blindness and uh, and death is propagated from but in the reports that I could find online if you read them completely you find that the moonshine in question was tainted intentionally with added methanol which is interesting so let's think about this with a little bit of logic if fruit has the most pectin in it, and pectin is responsible for the production of methanol, and methanol is removed through distillation, then why don't people go blind from drinking wine? All the methanol produced during fermentation of wine is still in the wine in the finished product. None of it has been removed. Same with beer. Same with mead. Okay. Let's continue to number three. Methanol is distributed through the entire run. So it doesn't all come out at the beginning like most people think. It doesn't all come out in the four shots where you can remove the first two ounces and now your methanol is gone. It is in the entire run. So there will always be methanol present in your final product after distillation. That being said, if you're running reflux, it is possible to remove a large part of the methanol. Because during reflux distillation, methanol does come out mostly in the heads. And that leads us to the most surprising piece of information that I found. Number four, the methanol produced during pot still distillation comes out in the tails. I know, that's what I said. I've been told for decades now the exact opposite that we toss four shots because we want to remove methanol. Truth is, in a pot still distillation, there's hardly any methanol in the four shots, or even the heads. Now remember, I'm just a dude that lives in the woods and makes shine. So don't take my word for it. Do your own research. I've got a couple of links down in the description to get you started on that research. I found several corroborating resources online, and you can too with just a little searching. Now I want to give you my big takeaway from this new information. If you're a beginner, it appears there's absolutely nothing to worry about when it comes to methanol. 
unless you're intentionally recirculating the methanol, unless you're intentionally adding methanol into your alcohol, there's not enough in it to harm you or anyone else. But if you want to continue to toss out the four shots just to be safe, well, that isn't hurting anything either. It looks like I'm going to be going back and redoing some of my videos so that I'm sure I'm giving the most accurate information. But if you're new to the hobby of home distillation, until then, check out this playlist. It's a start here playlist. It'll give you the most basic information you need. So go ahead, click it. I'll see y'all later.